You were born in 1974, so that makes you 46? 36. 36? Oh, my math is bad. Um, and how would you describe your ethnic heritage, your family background? I'm uh, Spanish. Spanish? Yeah. Okay. And you said Latina here. Yeah. How are those two different for you? Uh, they're not much different. Not okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're married? How long have you been married? For 10 years. And when did you get your bachelor's in nursing? At the bachelor's in nursing a couple years ago. Oh, just recently? Yeah, recently. Oh, good for maybe, you. Maybe two and a half years ago now. Uh-huh. Okay. And um, what's your basic goal here with sleep? What do, you know, if I brought my magic wand that could make things better right away, what would you want to do? What are we shooting for? Oh, God, I would be happy just to get a, just some consistent uh, nights where I can get just even seven hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm just, I'll have maybe a night or two of that, and then I flip into just these rough nights. So I, I, I want mm -hmm. a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. And if I had a, a, a real magic wand, I would want this to be consistent. Consistent. Yeah. And my tendency is not to look so much at hours of sleep. Um, quality of sleep is a lot more important than quantity. And um, I'm really looking at your daytime functioning. We'll be talking a lot about that. So, okay. but that's that's our our target. I hope it's more your daytime functioning. Consistency is a great goal because it improves the quality of your sleep overall. Okay. okay? Great. So, um, so consistency and better performance, yeah. better, better daytime yeah. performance. Are, so you think it, it, you know if you were to sleep better, you would be a lot more adaptive oh. and. Um, I would, when I have a good night's sleep, I'm mm -hmm. like a different person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have energy and. Um, yeah. And, and would you describe yourself as an anxious person or an easily aroused person? Out, not outside of the sleep, kind of more characterological. Say before the car accident, even. Yeah, probably a little more energy. Uh huh. Yeah. Kind of reactive. Do you startle easy? Mm, no. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, So, but you can get overwhelmed where you're trying to do a bunch of things at once and kind of that gets hard and yeah. especially if you're doing something new, it sounds mm -hmm. like at work, yes. that can be, that can be more yes. difficult. Yes, when I have too many tasks. Um, um, sudden changes are, are... Those are hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I like more of the predict... Uh, even though I'm an emergency RN, mm -hmm. I like the predictability. Um, sounds kind of funny because people think that there is no predictability in the emergency room. Right? Well, I mean, I think in one way, everybody that comes in is unique, mm -hmm. but also there's got to be some pretty, yeah, you know, standard, standard things that are, that are going on, and it sounds like you're now getting comfortable with each of those, and once in a while it's going to throw you a ringer, but more and more that's, that's pretty consistent. Um, and so it makes sense that as you get more comfortable with each of those things, then your ability to adapt to the stress gets better. Mm -hmm. But you see yourself as somebody who gets excited pretty easily. Yeah. And that that certainly contributes, that kind of style of being in the world contributes to the sleep as well. You know, uh, you don't fall asleep if you're excited. Oh. You know? <laughs> oh. But it looks like you're generally able to have pretty um, positive things happening in your life, so you're not kind of shut down, depressed, or um, anhedonic, you know, you know that, 